Hello crafty friends, welcome to another video in our series on geometric shapes slash repeating patterns. So far we've done chevrons, squares, hexagons and circles. If you want to watch the previous videos in this series, check out the playlist that's linked in the video description. Today we're going to do this shape. Now when I first saw them I thought teardrops. But when I was getting ready for bed last night, I thought, ooh, not teardrops, petals. Let's make some flowers. So I did a few trial runs with three different methods of making flowers. And I thought I'd share all three of them with you today so that depending on what tools you have available to you, you can do it too. This one I made with my Alt New stamp wheel. This one I made with a regular stamp positioner and this one I made freehand just using an acrylic block. So we'll start with the Alta New stamp wheel. I appreciate that a lot of you probably don't have it. It's quite an expensive tool to invest in, but as I've got it, I'm going to use it. But if you haven't, as I say, there are other methods you can do. So here I have a bit of smooth white cardstock. This is six by six inches. That's not really here or there for this particular method. It will just give me plenty of room to play. And I've stuck it on my grip mat so it's nice and secure. The first thing I'm gonna do is add the center of my flower. So I'm pop a little bit of glue there just to help this stamp stick. It's a silicon stamp, so they're not always as sticky as a regular photopolymer stamp. And this is a, a dotty circle from the same set and I want to get it as in the middle as possible. There we go. And I'm going to stamp this with black ink. I'm using Memento Tuxedo Black and I can just flip that over and press it down and I've got the middle of my flower. I'm going to keep a baby wipe to hand so that I can do plenty of wiping. What I'm going to do next is add my petals and I'm going to use these stamps. It was actually one stamp with all these petals on the same strip of silicon but I've cut them out using a pair of scissors just making sure to avoid cutting obviously where the actual image is but that's easy enough to do. So for my first petal I'm going to take the outline stamp and line it up so that the tip points towards the center of the center and just touches ish the outer edge of the circle and i'm going to take my glue stick again and just add a bit of glue so that's not in the right place at all do it again so i can pick up my stamp and have it stick and not fall off. Now I can go all the way around my flower, gently pressing because I don't want to squish my stamp and splurge my line. This way I should get, I think, 16 petals. So there we have 16 petals, nicely aligned, regularly in a circle. Obviously I didn't get this circle in quite the right place, but that's okay because I'm not looking for perfection. I'm doing a kind of offset, scruffy pattern, if you see what I mean. The next thing I'm gonna do is take the patterned petal shapes and add them to my image and I'm going to, as I say, offset the petals so they're not exactly lined up with the outlines. And I can do all four at the same time. And pick them all up with the lid. 
And to colour my petals, I've got Be Mine, do -si do Party Dress and It's a Girl Catherine Pooler inks. So I'll start with the first one. I think with the solid petal, I'll give it a second go. So it's not blotchy. Come in with another colour, do -si do and I'm going to rotate those now we've got party dress and it's a girl which is a very pale pink So now we've got our patterns on our petals. To colour the centre of the flower, I'm going to use some tiara. I put it on my glass mat and I'm going to add some water with a paintbrush so I can just paint it on. And to give my flower a stem, I'm going to use a single line of gel pen. And to give my stem some leaves i'm going to take the same outline petal stamp add it to an acrylic block and just line it up so it's touching the stem and i'll take the petal with a chevron shape on it add some matcha green ink and create some colour and texture on my offset leaves. So this is the one created with the stamp wheel. Now we'll look at how to do it with a regular stamp positioner. To make sure I get my circle in the middle, I'm going to find the middle by marking three inches and three inches. I'm going to place this in the corner of my stamp positioner and line up my circle so it is over that dot. Again, it's not 100% critical that I get that in the middle, but as near to the middle as possible. And we'll stamp that with our black ink again. And I'm gonna add some more stick glue around there. And take my outline petal and line it up with that dot that's in the middle and bring it out again so that the tip touches the edge of the circle. And I will add a bit more glue. I didn't quite get it in the right place again. Pick it up and off we go. With a regular stamp positioner, instead of rotating the lid, you rotate the paper. You can do this with any shape. It doesn't have to be petals. So when you rotate it four times, you get four images. And now we can move that again, just shuffle it along a bit, have it so it overlaps the previous image, points towards that dot in the center and touches the edge of the circle. And that's another four done. And we can repeat that twice more to get the full 16. So there we have our full 16. Some of them are overlapping, some of them aren't overlapping. So it is a little, where did I put it? There it is. It's still regular and repeating, but not in exactly the same way as this one. Now we can take our patterns and we can lay them on top again, pointing towards that little dot in the middle, lined up with the edge of the center offset slightly and you can do four at a time like this 
might want to do the solid one a couple of times. And then what you need to do is take your shapes, take them off your door, add them and do your next colour. there we have another flower we can add our stem and our petals in the same way as we did before I think we'll do stripy green leaves on this one a little bit of yellow for the center So there we have our Alter New Stamp Wheel and there we have our regular stamping platform. But what if all you've got is an acrylic rock? Well, you can achieve a very similar look. So I've got my circle there, my circle of dots for the centre. And I'm going to just pop that anywhere I like. I don't have to worry about it being in the centre. And now I want my open simple line and I can oh I know what I'm going to do because I find this really helpful is just use a pencil and put a fairly good sized dot in the middle so you can see what you're doing then ink up your stamp hover the tip of your petal over that dot and move it out to the edge of the circle and press down and that way you'll get your petals pointing towards the centre of the circle. And with this, you can overlap them as much or as little as you like, adjusting it for each individual petal that you put down. You might not get 16 in, or you might get more than 16, depending on how much you overlap them. And it doesn't matter if you don't position each petal perfectly because that's the look we're going for. Kind of perfectly imperfect. Now, how many petals did I get? One, two, three, four, five, 15, I think then, which is absolutely fine. I didn't quite get a full petal here, but you know, that's absolutely fine too, because I'm about to add pattern and colour. So we'll take party dress and we'll do a dotty one. Actually, what I'm going to do is get my pinks from light to dark, I think. So it doesn't matter if I contaminate them. If I'm working light to dark, it doesn't matter if the light ink goes on the dark ink pad. It does kind of matter if the dark ink goes on the light pink, ink pad, not pink pad, although they are pink ink pads. Anyway, so I've got the dotty one here and I can add, let's say, four, oop, no, let's do that one, dotty ones. And again, it really doesn't matter if they're not perfectly lined up. And now I'm gonna get the stripy one. Again, start with the lighter ink pad and I can put this wherever I want. Oh, and I've got ink on my fingers and now I've got ink on the paper, but this is just a demo piece. <laughs> Never mind. We'll make it part of the design at some point. It's cause I've got it here on my little finger. All right, how far did we get? We got three of those. And you can double stamp them. And again, it really doesn't matter if you don't double stamp 
completely accurately. Now we want our stem, so that can come down there like that. And we've got our open stamp and I'm going to add some leaves. And because I've got a big pink blotch there and a blotch there, okay, I think two will still do. I'm going to take the solid and we're going to go for party dress. And we're going to give our plant pink leaves because why not if it can have stripy petals and spotty petals and chevron petals and solid petals it can have pink leaves now i've done that i feel the bottom is heavily weighted and we've only got one of the pink petals up here but I've got a smaller solid petal which I can add around and about on here to bring some more of that stronger pink into the flower what I don't have is a small outline petal stamp but I've got a black pen so I can draw a black outline and yet again it really doesn't matter if you draw a wobbly line or you don't get it right around the edge because that's the look we're going for I might even add another one So they go all the way around like a little inner row of petals and as long as that black ink is dry which it is I can erase that pencil mark and add a yellow center So here we have all three, that's the stamp wheel, that's the regular stamp positioner and that's the freehand acrylic block. So now this part's all done, I'm going to use a square die to cut them out. You don't have to use a square die, you could just use them as they are. You could do this straight onto a card blank because it doesn't come through. I've actually cut this one out with a rectangle because if I use the square I'd chop off the leaves that I did at the bottom. So. It's a rectangle. So far in the series, I haven't used the sentiment stamps that come with this geometric stamp set, but I'm gonna do that now. I'm gonna add a hello to the bottom of each of these cards. And I think I want to heat emboss it in gold. So there we go. We've got three different methods of achieving much the same thing. The ultra new stamp wheel, a regular stamp positioner, and an acrylic block and I do have to say that I think my favorite is probably the acrylic block the cheapest of the three incidentally because you can make it look really quite random and more organic more natural so I hope you've enjoyed the video today and it's given you some ideas of something to do with these petal or teardrop shape stamps and I hope I've been able to share a technique that works for you with the supplies and the tools that you have. Right, I think that will do for today. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.